Kamala Harris. Have a good debate. Thank you. See you. Have fun. Thank you. You've heard tonight two very different visions for our country. One that is focused on the future and the other that is focused on the past. I will be a president that will protect our fundamental rights and freedoms, including the right of a woman to make decisions about her own body and not have her government tell her what to do. In Minnesota, she went out. Wait a minute. I'm talking now. If you don't mind, please. Does that sound familiar? Hello there, this is me, Anj Pandey on One India News. Just 56 days are now left for the grand showdown between Trump and Harris. However, 10th of September was quite an eventful day for the United States. The recent presidential debate between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump has sparked intense media coverage with many outlets already declaring Harris the winner. This debate marked a significant shift in the race following President Biden's exit, showcasing a dynamic between the two new candidates. Harris's performance was widely praised across the media outlets. However, on social media, Donald Trump's responses to Harris gained wide traction. In Minnesota, she went out. Wait a minute, I'm talking now. If you don't mind, please. Does that sound familiar? In this video, we'll elaborate to you how the American media, which is often considered as the pinnacle of journalism, viewed the outcome of the ABC debate 2024. Starting with the none other than the New York Times, NYT highlighted Harris's commanding presence, noting how she effectively put Trump on the defensive from the start and maintained the control throughout the debate. Her sharp and clear messaging contrasted with Trump's increasingly angry and defensing demeanor. Whereas the Wall Street Journal also observed that Harris skillfully baited Trump into animated responses on various issues including legal troubles. This approach differed notably from Trump's previous encounter with Biden as moderators actively pushed back against the false statements. The USA Today described Harris's performance as forceful, successfully rattling a defensive Donald Trump. The publication also noted that while Trump had previously dominated in debate with Biden, he found himself repeatedly on the defensive this time against Harris, who demonstrated her ability to handle the pressure of the debate format. First of all, they bought their chips from Taiwan. We hardly make chips anymore because of uh, philosophies like they have and policies like they have. I don't say her because she has no policy. Everything that she believed three years ago and four years ago is out the window. She's going to my philosophy now. In fact, I was going to send her a MAGA hat. She's gone to my philosophy. But if she ever got elected, she'd change it. And it will be the end of our country. She's a Marxist. Everybody knows she's a Marxist. Her father's a Marxist professor in economics, and he taught her well. But when you look at what she's done to our country, and when you look at these millions and millions of people that are pouring into our country monthly, where it's, I believe, 21 million people, not the 15 that people say, and I think it's a lot higher than the 21, that's bigger than New York State pouring in. And just look at what they're doing to our country. They're criminals. Many of these people coming in are criminals. And that's bad for our economy, too. You know, you mentioned before, we'll talk about immigration later. Well, bad immigration is the worst thing that can happen to our economy. They have, and she has, destroyed our country with policy that's insane. Almost policy that you'd say they have to hate our country. CNN, meanwhile, emphasized Harris's direct challenge to Trump, highlighting her confident approach with the statement, you are not running against Joe Biden, you are running against me. This assertiveness reportedly left Donald Trump struggling to regain his footing during the debate. Even Fox News, which is typically more sympathetic to Donald Trump, acknowledged this time Harris's strong performance. The network noted that Trump grew increasingly strident and divisive as the debate progressed, while Harris's confidence was bolstered by the moderators' fact-checking of Trump's statements. Despite the general consensus on Harris's victory, most outlets still noted that there was no knockout blow that can drastically affect the dynamics of the upcoming election. The race is still expected to be tight coming this November. 
The debate showcased Harris's readiness for presidential race as she successfully navigated the challenges and criticism from Donald Trump. Her performance was seen as a significant boost to her campaign, demonstrating her ability against her own as a seasoned politician who is also now a straight opponent. Contrasting with Biden versus Trump, Harris was indeed more attacking. As the election approaches, this debate may prove to be a turning point in the race, potentially reshaping the public perception of both candidates. However, with several months still to go before the election day, there's ample time for further developments. Don't miss out. Log on to oneindia.com for more updates.